In this homework example, you're asked to plot decimals on the number line and round. Let's read the directions. Plot the given decimals on the number line, then use the number line to help you round to the given decimal places. So we're given three numbers, and it's always a good idea to start by looking at your scaling. So by that I mean what numbers are labeled and what are the increments between the labeled numbers as well. So notice we have 5.9, 6, and 6.1 and they differ by one-tenth. So one-tenth more than 5.9 is 6, one-tenth more than 6 is 6.1. So then looking in between any two of these tenths, it's broken into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 places. So when you break tenths into 10 places, those are hundredths. So these are each one-hundredth in length. So let's start by plotting now. We have 6.05. Well, here's 6. There's 100, 200, 3, 4, 500, and I'll click there. 5.95, or 5 and 95 hundredths. Here's 5.9. We want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hundredths more. And then we have 6.02, or 6 and 2 hundredths. So starting at 6, I'm going to go 1, 2 more. Now in these questions, we're asked to round to the nearest tenth and whole number for each of these values. So let's start with 6.05. So that's this number right here. So to round to the nearest tenth, you want to think, well, what tenths is it between? So it's between 6 and 0 tenths and 6 and 1 tenth. And notice it's right in the middle. So our general convention when we're rounding is if it's in the middle, you're going to round up. So the nearest tenth rounding up is 6.1. Now we're going to round to the nearest whole number. Okay, So here's 6.05. We can see 6 is a whole number, and 7 would be way over there somewhere. So it's definitely closer to 6. Now we're looking at 5.95. Well, here's 5.95. It's between 5.9 and 6. Notice it's exactly halfway between them, and in that case, we are going to round up to 6. Okay. Rounded to the nearest whole number, well, again, it's between 6 and 5 would be somewhere over there, but it's definitely closer to 6 because we can't even see 5, so we're going to round this to 6. And finally, 6.02 to the nearest tenth. It's between 6 and 0 tenths and 6 and 1 tenth. Okay? And notice it's closer to 6 and 0 tenths. It's 2 hundredths away from 6 and 8 hundredths away from 6 and 1 tenth. So we would round to 6. And you could put 6.0 or just 6. Okay? and rounded to the nearest whole number, again, it's closest to 6.